Hello friends. Today we are going to study about the constructors of pharynx. There are basically three constructors. Middle and inferior. Inferior constrictor is further subdivided into thyropharynges and cricopharynges. This is medial pterygoid plate and pterygoid hamulus. Part of mandible, the hyoid bone, the thyroid cartilage, the cricoid cartilage, one or two tracheal rings. See, all these are drawn in a vertical line. This is the base of skull and that structure is the pharyngeal tubercle. There are few ligaments and membranes here from the pterygoid process to the mandible. There is a pterygomandibular raphe. That is the stylohyoid ligament which extends above from the styroid process. Below it is attached to the lesser horn of the hyoid bone. Extending between the thyroid cartilage and the hyoid bone is a membrane and few ligaments. The lateral thyrohyoid ligament which is on either sides. There is a median thyrohyoid ligament and in between there is a thyrohyoid membrane. These ligaments are the part of the larynx. There is a tendinous arch extending between the thyroid cartilage and the hyoid bone which actually overlaps a tiny muscle of the larynx named cricothyroid muscle. This ligament is this ligament is stylohyoid ligament thyroid membrane. From the pharyngeal tubercle extends down is the pharyngeal raphe and below this level of cricoid cartilage extends. So basically pharynx is between the base of skull and the lower border of cricoid cartilage. Remember the inferior constrictor has two parts the cricopharynges and thyropharynges. The cricopharynges as the name indicates it arises from the cricoid cartilage and inserted to the pharyngeal raphe. The fibers are thick and it is more like a sphincter. The thyropharyngeal arises from the tendinous arch, the inferior and superior tubercle as well as the oblique line. Fibers arises and it fans upwards. And it is inserted to the pharyngeal raphe. In between the cricopharynges and thyropharynges, there is a potential gap named as the Killian's dehiscence, which is clinically very important because that part is considered to be a weak region. The middle constrictor arises from the lower end of the stylohyoid ligament, the lesser horn of the hyoid bone. As well as from the greater horn of the hyoid bone and the fibers fans downwards and upwards. It fans out backwards and it is inserted to the pharyngeal raphe. Remember that this is the upper border of the thyropharyngeus and this part extends downwards deep to the thyropharynges and that part is overlapped by the thyropharynges muscle and that middle constrictor do not extend beyond the level of the Killian's dehiscence that is why this part is not reinforced by multiple layers of the muscle. The superior constrictor arises from the pterygoid hamulus of the medial pterygoid plate from the pterygomandibular raphe from the mandible and also from the side of the tongue. The upper fibers fans backwards and upwards 
and it is inserted with the pharyngeal tubercle and base of skull and the lower fibers fans down that also passes deep to the middle constrictor so actually these three constrictors are stacked in such a way that the superior is overlapped by the middle the middle is overlapped by the part of the inferior constrictor you might have noticed a space above the superior constrictor which covered by a membrane that region is named as sinus of morgagni this is superior this is middle and this is thyropharyngeus that is trachopharyngeus together named as the inferior constrictor there are some structures passing between these constrictors above the superior constrictor passes the cartilaginous part of the auditory tube the tensor villi palatini muscle the ascending pharyngeal artery that gap between the superior constrictor and middle constrictor transmits a muscle this stylopharyngeus which is one of the three longitudinal muscles of the pharynx and that muscle is accompanied by the glossopharyngeal nerve the ninth cranial nerve piercing the thyrohyoid membrane one artery named as the superior laryngeal artery and one nerve named as the internal laryngeal nerve both pierces the membrane to enter inside the larynx there's a nerve ascending upwards between the trachea and esophagus which is named as the recurrent laryngeal nerve this is the esophagus and this is the trachea all three muscles are skeletal muscles these constrictors helps to push it helps to squeeze the food down into the esophagus so all these three constrictors are supplied by the cranial accessory nerve the inferior constrictor in addition to cranial accessory nerve is supplied by the uh, recurrent laryngeal nerve and the external laryngeal nerve next we have to consider the longitudinal muscles we will consider these muscles in our next video thank you